Keep quiet, Rain. They found us! And I really hate mazes. Uh, which way do we go? Okay. Kind of hard to scan for an exit route and run at the same time. I did, Penny. Well done. But someone has let this hedge grow way out of control. Go, go, Gadget Hedge Trimmer. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Chief Wendy. I have a mission for you. Mad has discovered the location of the lost city of diamonds. Claw wants those diamonds for his laser so he can carve his name into the moon, causing global weather disasters. Your mission is to find that lost city before Mad does. This message will self-destruct. Wow. How can Claw's plan be so dangerous and so lame at the same time? He is a criminal mastermind. There's no time to lose. Oh. Oh. Hey, you think I want to clip your nails? But Mad Cat, your claws scratch my claw. No one claws my claw. Dr. Claw, I've started to crypt in the obelisk. You will have your diamonds. So says Matt Tanadan. Matt Tanadan! I can't believe I'm talking to the world's most amazing evil spy! Hey, maybe we can hang out sometime. Never. Please? Nope. Aw, oh, come on! I'd rather be eaten by crocodiles. Please, please, please! Stop talking to me, you weirdo. Fine! Soon I will use the world's biggest diamond to laser my name on the moon for everyone to see. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Matt Tanadan, out. Can you even imagine being him? He's so cool. Did I say stop grooming Mad Cat? Did I? <laughs> Be careful. Don't worry, Penny. I'm as good a pilot as I am an inspector. Yeah. Whoa, -ho -ho -ho, Nelly. Well, well, who do we have here? And this penny is what's known as the tall, skinny pyramid. Uncle Gadget, I think we've got company. Inspector Gadget! Why, yes, that is me. I am Dr. Matt Tanadan, simple archaeologist. And who doesn't know the name of the world's greatest agent, Inspector Gadget? Oh, you're too kind, and also correct. Um, it looks like we are both here to find the lost city of diamonds. I, Matt Tanadan, have found many, many lost cities of diamonds. Let's keep our eyes on the good doctor brain. I assure you, we will find this one together, okay? It will be a pleasure to travel with a fellow scientist. Hmm. So, these symbols are some kind of map showing us the location of the lost city of diamonds. To start, 
The I next to the owl and lion clearly means we need to keep an eye out for owl riding lions, which sound very ferocious and wise. Now, let's see. Snakes playing banjos are normally found in the south, which must mean we head south to find the lost city. That actually seems right. Let's go. There's no telling how close Mad is to the city already. Uh, oh, sorry, but I have to take this. Mad Tana Dan. Mad Tana Dan. Oh, it's you. Has my mission changed? You know, we should go for coffee, trade spy stories, maybe bond a little. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. That sounds perfect. Okay. <laughs> I just need to put my seat back. A little more room, please. Uh, it wasn't me, I assure you. South it is to the soon-to-be unlost Diamond City. Guys, I think this hole is the same size as the one on the map. So that must mean that the lost city is down there. Wait a minute, Penny. I think this hole is the same size as the one on the map. So that must mean the lost city is down there. What is it? I'm very busy. Oh, it's you. Report. I'm Matt Tana Dan. We'll be at the Lost City soon. Okay. So I've kind of modeled my whole life after you, and I've even started to grow my own mustache. You can see it if the light is just right. Enough. Hey, why did you do that? I was about to say something really cool that I would have treasured forever. <sighs> What could he teach you that you can't learn from Dr. Claw? Wait, you're not jealous of Dan, are you? Dr. Claw is jealous of no one. Jealous? Stop it! Jealous, jealous, jealous! Jealous, jealous, jealous! Talon! Wowzers! This place reminds me of the time I was trapped in an airport in Nunavut. Whoa. Look, Penny! There's the banjo and the snake! Now, what is that? That must be the way to the lost city of diamonds! Tana Dan will now quietly sneak off. What is it, Brain? Where is Mad Tana Dan? That's Dr. Dan, Penny. I'm sure he must be around here somewhere. Maybe he went down this dark, mysterious, creepy hallway. The Lost City of Diamonds. Wowzers! Oh, Dr. Dan, we found the Lost City of Diamonds. Yes, and by we, you mean me. Soon the world's biggest diamond will belong to man! Onward, Charleston! Not so fast, good doctor. Why, he's begun to hallucinate. He thinks he's a mad agent. Why does it always have to be a maze? Dr. Dan, we need to get him to a doctor. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> no one has ever caught Matana Dan. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a diamond to capture. That's strange, I could swear he was right there. Sure is fast for a dehydrated and sunstroked hallucinating archaeologist. Go, go, gadget, copter! Don't worry, Doctor. I'll be right there in a jiffy. Go, go, gadget, first aid kit. Now. To set the home and beacon so Dr. Claw can come and get the diamond. And me, of course. Hey! World's lamest archaeologist! <laughs> Don't make me come up there just to throw you back down! <laughs> You're too late! Mantana Dan is about to turn on the beacon! Huh? <laughs> Uh, Mantana Dan will 
Valorously escape now. Oh no, the city's falling apart. Abort mission! Whoa! Wowzers! Uncle Gadget, we have to get out of here. Don't worry, Penny. Inspector Gadget has everything under control. Go, go, Gadget, escape plan. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. 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 Tana Dan has escaped one more time. <laughs> Proving that no one ever can catch Mad Tana Dan. <laughs> I am the best, huh? Yeah. Well, congratulations, Gadget. All in a day's work, Chief. I'm sorry, Uncle C. You were right. You're totally way cooler than Mad Tana Dan. I told you so. And I totally learned so much from you all the time. Yes, I know. And you're clearly the world's best bad guy. Go on. So, I'll be back right after I rescue Mad Tana Dan. What? Talon! So, Cuckoo Clock Maker, you say you can freeze time? You have five seconds to prove it. It worked! <laughs> and with two seconds to spare. I'm sorry, Mr. Snuggle Puffin. Excellent. With this technology, I'll be able to freeze everyone attending the really important meeting of really important world leaders in St. Moritz. Wow, that's actually a good plan. With the leaders frozen, Matt can take over the world. And I'll finally have a life-size snow globe to add to my prize collection. <laughs> For serious? I saw that look. And since you're not taking my snow globe seriously, your punishment will be taking your orders from someone who does. The Cuckoo Clockmaker. That gong show? Yes, him. Now go. Oh, no. Just ten more hours. Huh? An alarm? Have mad agents <sighs> reach the perimeter? Well, it's just Uncle Gadget. Go, go, Gadget! Watch repair kit. Fixing his retirement watch again. Penny, my watch has stopped. Do you have the time? Gadget, ready for your next mission? Hmm. But we just got back from <sighs> one. Why can't the next mission be catching some sleep instead of catching bad guys? Or better yet, catching bad guys while sleeping. Justice never sleeps, Penny. Except when it was out really late the night before. <laughs> What's the story, Chief? <laughs> Mad is plotting to freeze the attendees of the really important meeting of really important world leaders in St. Moritz, Switzerland. Your mission is to track down their ticking stop clock and destroy it. This message will self-destruct. Wowzers! That mission is perfect! Because we'll save the world? Because we'll fix my super special retirement watch while we're there. Let's get a move on, Penny. The clock's ticking, unlike my watch. Imitating my clocks. Get yourself a better code name. Also, you might want to know, Inspector Gadget's on his way. Don't worry, I'm ready. I have just the thing to take care of Gadget. Behold! That's it? A watch? Who needs a watch to tell time anymore? That's what phones are for. Duh! Everyone needs a watch. I have one for every occasion. This one fires lasers. This one electrocutes. This one magnetizes ceilings. What about this one? It must do something really cool, like command an army of robots or hypnotize sharks. <laughs> no, it just tells time. <laughs> but this one explodes! Genius! You know, we could just call in a dozen henchmen to jump them, right? Bam! Job done. No! Claw put me in charge, and I say we use my Boom Boom watch. Now stop wasting my time and go guard the stop clock. That's an order. Fine. 
And just don't blame me when the whole thing blows up in your face. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> It's snowmobile. Wowzers, who'd have thought there'd be so much snow in the Alps? Good thing I'm an expert at driving blind. Must have hit a bump. Told you I'd get us here, Penny. And right in front of a clock shop, too. Up a definite ticking sound, but I can't tell if it's the stop clock or the clock shop. Try saying that five times fast. Oh. I'm gonna pinpoint the sound. You watch Uncle Gadget. Uh-uh, oh. uh, brain. No doggies allowed. You'd know that if you could read. Oh. Stay. interest you in a dynamite watch? No, thank you, my good man. <laughs> I already have a watch that I want you to fix. Oh, I'd be happy to fix it. I'd be happy to fix it real good. That's the spirit. There. You know, you should go skiing while you're here. I'm sure you'll have a blast on the slopes. Thanks for the tip and the repairs. I love it when a plan runs like clockwork. Oh, and look. It's almost freeze the world leader's o'clock. <laughs> what a nice clockmaker. He fixed my watch very promptly. Brain, this is no time for fetch. <laughs> Why does it have to sound so much like my alarm clock? That's where the really important meeting of really important world leaders is. So the stop clock must be close. There it is, and it's set to go off at four o'clock. Here we go. Yeah, let's put the impossibly handsome teen genius on clock sitting duty. Oh, that's a great use of his mad skills. Not like anyone's gonna. Well, hello. Aha! Time to stop the clock. Why can't there be a bad guy around when I come up with a clever line? Ah! <gasps> Careful what you wish for. Talent, of course. Sorry, there's no way I'm gonna let you mess with my uncle's plan to turn St. Moritz into a life size snow globe to add to his prize winning collection. Shouldn't the plan be to freeze all the people at the really important meeting of really important world leaders so Mad can take over? <sighs> We're gonna do that too, but he's got this snow globe collection and I know how it sounds, but... Anywho! <gasps> 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 Bad brain. Seeing time fly is just a figure of speech. <laughs> Seeing time snowboard isn't a figure of speech at all. Don't go gadget dog leash. Wowzers! <laughs> Did someone miss their beauty rest? <laughs> no, you're just boring me. In a slice pen, time to say goodbye. Yeah. Uh. Oh, you're really starting to tick me off. Get it? Tick me off? <laughs> like tick tock like a clock? Yeah, I get it. But it's lame. Yeah, like you could be lamer, like your hair. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> What, are you afraid that I'm gonna beat you? No, I'm worried you're gonna trigger the detonation. Uh-oh. Gotcha! I gave him one job. You know, one comes after 12? What a nincompoop. I need time to figure out what needs to be done. Oh! 
That's not what I meant! My super special retirement watch! Drat! The hands are frozen! Bad dog! Uh, Mr. Clockmaker, before you run off, mind fixing my watch again? Not at all. Here's the problem. The hands are stuck on the explosive... <laughs> my super special retirement watch! Go, go, gadget butterfly net! That wasn't so bad. <sighs> Uncle Gadget, you beat the clock! Whoops. Good thing we have an on-call clockmaker. <laughs> oh, my stop clock! Oh, it's... it's... it's ruined! Don't worry. You'll have plenty of time on your hands in prison. Congratulations, team. You saved the world leaders. They've extended their sincere thanks. Looks like you'll be able to sleep in soon, Benny. Finally. Right after the next mission. And the one after that. And the one after that. My super and... special retirement watch! Uncle Gadget, it's working again. Well, of course. That nice clockmaker just fixed it for me. Claw, how about a lift? Your inability to follow orders cost me my life-size snow globe and the leaders inside. Consider this a timeout. But... At least I still have the rest of my collection.